pleasant day to our dear parents, teachers, and learners. Welcome to Project Dream, Division Remediation and Enhancement of Aptitude in Mathematics. I am Mrs. Diana B. Kitay. You can call me Mom Diane. I am a teacher from Pleasant Hills Elementary School and I will be your teacher lecturer for this week's math lesson. For week 1, we are going to learn about reading and writing numbers in symbols and in words up to 100,000 and compare them using relation symbols. The objective of this lesson is to read and write numbers in symbols and in words up to 100,000 and compare them using relation symbols. Let us discuss first reading and writing numbers in words up to 100,000. Let's do this example. The Department of Agriculture donated 87,935 seedlings to the farmers who were affected with the COVID-19 pandemic. How do we write the number word for 87,935? To answer the example, let's do the following steps. Step 1. Place each digit of the number in a place value chart. Thousands and unit periods are on the top of the place value chart. Thousands and units are called periods. Period is a group of any three-digit number. In reading and writing number in words and in symbols, Remember that period are very important, and since we are reading and writing numbers into 100,000, we have to remember two periods, namely, units period and thousands period. Under units period are ones place, tens place, and hundreds place, while in thousands period are thousands place, 10,000 place and 100,000 place. Now, we are going to place the digit 87,935 to each corresponding place. 5 in 1's place, 3 in 10's place, 9 in 100 place, 7 in 1,000's place, and 8 in 10,000 place. Step 2. Read the number by period. We read numbers from left to right. So we're going to read from thousands period going to units period. Looking in the digit here on our place value chart, how do we read the numerals in the thousands period? Correct, very good. We will read it as 87. So now, we can write it here, 87. Step 3. Write the name of the period. Write the singular form of the period. Instead of saying thousands, we say thousand. We are going to write thousands here. So the number in the thousand period is 87,000 Step 4 Read only the number in the units period So how do we read the number in units period? Correct! Very good! It is 935 we're only going to write 935 here. We do not mention the name of the period when it is in units. Step 5. Use comma to separate the periods. In writing numbers, we separate the numbers by using comma. We put the comma after the thousands. But in writing words, we do not use the comma. So the number 4 
87,935 is 87,935 To continue our lesson, we need to compare numbers using relation symbols. In comparing numbers, we use relation symbols such as greater than, less than, and equal to. Sometimes, it is confusing for us to identify the symbols of greater than and less than because they look similar. But for us to easily remember the symbol, form an L-shape using your right hand. The L-shape stands for greater than. And again, form an L-shape using your left hand. The L-shape stands for less than. Now, let's compare numbers using this example. 87,935 and 87,395. Follow this step to compare the two group numbers. Step 1. Align the digits according to their place value. 87,935 and 87,395. Step 2. Compare the digit in the highest place value. In this example, the highest place value is in the 10,000th place. It has the same digit in the 10,000th place, which are 8. Then, we will go to the 1,000th place. Again, same digit in the 1,000th place, which are 7. Now, compare the digit in the 100th place. In this example, it is a different number, which are 9 and 3. Since 9 and 3 are different, we already have a different digit in hundreds place. We do not need to go to the other place value, which is 10's place and 1's place. Step 3. Use the symbol to show the relationship between the two numbers which is 87,935 and 87,395. Since 9 is greater than 3 in the hundreds place, it means that 87,935 is greater than 87,395. Did you get it? Very good! To summarize our lesson, we should remember this. First, to read numbers, read the digits in the first period at the left. Say the period where the digits are. Then, say only the digits in the units period. Second, to write numbers from 10,001 to 100,000, the digits are separated by a comma space in groups of three called periods starting from the right. Third, to compare numbers, compare the digits in each place value. The first pair of digits that are of different values will determine which number is greater or less. Lastly, use symbols for less than, for greater than, and for is equal to. Hope you learned a lot from our lesson today. Are you now ready for an activity? Okay, that's good! Let us proceed to our activity. Now, for our activity, I want you to get your pen and paper and join me answering. The direction is, read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. I'll give you 5 seconds to answer every question. Are you all ready? Let's start! Number 1 What is 135,400 in words? A B C or D
The correct answer is A. 135,400 Number 2 What is the standard form of 61,572? A B C or D The correct answer is letter B 61,572 Number 3 46,984 can also be written as A B C or D The correct answer is letter C 46,984 Number 4 Compare 83,361 is blank than 90,000 plus 1,000 plus 300 plus 70 plus 6 A B C or D The correct answer is A less than Number 5 The Department of Health or DOH distributed 78,956 facial masks in March, 65,432 in April, 100,340 in May, and 93,285 in June. In which month did the DOH distribute the greatest or highest number of facial masks? A. March B. April C. May D. June The answer is C. May Good job! You are ready for the next lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have further questions about this lesson, you can send a message to our official Facebook page, Math Team, Mathematics Teachers of Mandaluyong, or you can send a direct message to your math teacher. Again, I am Ma'am Dayan saying, Learners today, leaders tomorrow. Always remember, mat sayang mag-aral, tayo nang matuto.